I'm Tris Imboden, and I've had the good fortune of being the drummer of the band Chicago, uh, with Kenny Loggins, with Al Jarreau, with Firefall, with, uh, God, I mean, so many different incredibly gifted musicians and songwriters and singers in my life. I'm so happy to say that having had the good fortune that I have, um, I've gotten to play on a lot of great records. And uh, I mean, really great records, Grammy Award winners and that uh, with some incredible artists. It was actually my wife Mary's idea to put a band together, kind of celebrating um, all of those records, as well as with the, all the, the good buddies that I have that have played on, on those records as well. With this new genre of music called yacht rock, which isn't so new, I guess it actually the term was co coined in 2005 or so, originally by some guys that were doing uh, skits on YouTube, putting beards on and acting like Kenny Loggins or Michael M and Michael McDonald and Peter Cetera and all. It started as a spoof, but now it's blown up into this big musical genre. Uh, there's radio stations that <laughs> play yacht rock exclusively. And uh, anyway, I've been a part of those records. And so uh, it was my wife's Mary, Mary's idea after having played with Ringo, being asked to play with Ringo uh, and his concept of the Ringo All-Stars, I've decided to put together the Tris and Bowden Yacht Stars. And uh, I'm so excited about it. And I've got a, a band of absolutely brilliant musicians and singers, and uh, all of which have flesh in the game. And uh, so that's what we're doing. I, I've got, and you'll see, hopefully, you'll hear, hopefully. Um, so far, it's killer. It's just coming out so great. I had such a, a good time picking the songs, but the actual recording the music, uh, because you can rehearse, you can cut bait all you want, but until you go fishing, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and uh, we've been cutting bait for a while, actually almost two years uh, because of the pandemic and all of that. Uh, we were unable to really get it up and running. Uh, but now that we, we're in the studio recording uh, our sizzle reel uh, that I'm so excited about, God, uh, on the wide screen, this band is massive. It sounds so good. And I'm, I'm every bit as proud of, of our recording of those tunes as I was of the originals. I really am. I mean, they're that good. And with the modern day recording techniques, some of them actually sound better than the originals. Well, my name is Alan Sanderson, and I've been in this industry now for uh, 1991 is when I started out. So 30 years, over 30 years now, I guess. I've always loved music. Um, ever since I was a kid, I, I've been into recording and playing music and, and the art of making records. And um, I just wanted to uh, learn how to do it, learn how to get into a studio and make albums when I was a kid. It came about during COVID when everybody was locked down. Uh, the band that he was in at the time was doing an album called Legends. It was an, it's an album that is yet to be released uh, in regards to the Oxycontin problem here in America and they needed a studio here in town and the bass player, a, a good friend of his, uh, Vernon Porter, contacted me and they came in and uh, made the album. Um, they recorded it in LA but we mixed it here so that's how I got to meet Tris and he's been in San Diego now for a, a, a quite a while so um, we just happened to run into each other after uh, quite a few years of not being able to be in contact which is great. Well it's, it's really great to have, uh, I mean the studio, first of all, here in Pacific Beach, Pacific Beach Recording, I've set it up because I want to be able to record great musicians. So having to work with these guys at this capacity in the studio was a treat for me because it's all about audio. So the better the player, the better the audio. And, you know, they're just amazing individuals. It's great to have them in here. All, all the tunes were great. I mean, I've worked on these songs at different levels with many different bands throughout the years, but to actually work on these songs with the real guys was a big bonus and a treat for me. Pacific Beat Studio is in 
the heart of North Pacific Beach, San Diego, California. And uh, there's not many studios here in San Diego. Um, there's some good ones, but uh, there's not many. So we're one of the guys here in town. If you need us, let us know. I'm feeling so confident about, about what we're doing here. And, uh, and I want everyone to hear it. I'm really proud of this. In fact, maybe prouder of this than any, any band I've been in.